hey guys welcome back so we are back out here doing some more magnet fishing stuff We were going to hit a couple other of these bridges over here by Winfield. The uh, Black Crook and Poor Farm bridges. The Poor Farm bridges is currently blocked off. It is actually sitting on private property at the moment, of course. And the other one, the Black Crook one, it is dried up currently. And we're not going to be able to hit those today. But we are going to go ahead and run up to the Elrod Bridge and the Foral Bridge and go ahead and hit those today and uh start getting on those so once we get up there i'll go ahead and show you all those two bridges but like i guess i can't show you these other ones just they're not just can't get to them so we'll go ahead and get all moved on up there and get you guys going so we are having a hard time with these bridges today so <laughs> let me show you on the map here we are currently at the floral bridge here the elrod bridge is on private property so we can't access it and the the what is it the black black crook and poor farm bridges are one is pretty well dry the other one is also on private property so we can't access it either so We'll go ahead and hit this Foro Bridge and also let you guys know I neglectfully left my my chest mount deal for the GoPro at the house. So y'all are gonna be mounted on my head. I'm sorry for that. I really am. Because it just I, I have a tendency to move my head around quite a bit. So and plus today's an awfully windy day, so you may not be able to hear me too terribly well. I'm hoping that you guys will, but well, I had to see how this works because uh, we ain't traveling this hour and a half, two hours back to the house to get it. So we're, uh, we're going to jump over here. I'll go ahead and show you guys the bridge and go ahead and get going on it. So here's, here's this part here. Here's, this is the Foral Bridge. So this is actually a pretty neat little deal. We used to, of course got some winds and whatnot down in here. So I'm hoping to be able to get something out of this. And we'll uh, jump over here to the other side real quick. So here's this side. It's got that wash in the middle out there. So we'll really only, only be able to get one side because this get, looks like. Get away from my edge. Who, me? I don't care about you. Oh. <laughs> Jackie, <laughs> So this side doesn't, doesn't appear to have much over here, but we may go ahead and toss while we're out here and uh, see what we got. Well, see what we can pull up. And my mom is definitely scared of heights. So <laughs> we'll go ahead and get the magnets out and go ahead and get going. All right, we'll go ahead and start on this side. I don't know how well this is because I can't really see it, but well, at least start on this side and see what happens. Everyone else, everyone else chickened out, so they're over there in the car. Except for John, my son, he's getting stuff going with his magnets, so. There's definitely a lot of leaves down in there. <clears throat> and nothing. whole lot of leaves on that one let's see what a drag will do Freaking log, I hope. <sighs> 
Yeah, it's glove time. This water's cold. Really cold. Here comes Becky, she's got to tag along with me. <laughs> Hey mama. That's close enough. Ah. Mama. What? Ooh. You don't want to. Yeah, I got stuck on one over here too. Hey, I did get something. Some kind of flat steel. With some rocks stuck to it. Huh, that's pretty neat. Like, stop! I'm getting tired of pulling you in so much. Oh, stepping on it. All right, well, let's go ahead and move on over here. Hey, Becky, you want to take that to the bucket? Please? Here, here, here's the glove. It's a right hand hand glove. Use it to pick it up. And go ahead. Oh man, there's a lot of limbs down in here. What? Oh. oh, I'm taking a chance right over there in those trees down in there. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but oh, where? Right there. Oh, yeah. I'm taking a risk with those uh, trees. Oh, they seem pretty loose, so maybe maybe it won't be too bad. That was definitely something metal right there. But... My man is not wanting to grab onto it real well. Oh, well, so far we only got one thing, so that's a plus, though, that we at least got something, huh, Baba? Well, still. Oh. Darn. That clicked onto something. Yep. Got me something. Bubba. You could have gotten this. I got a U line post. I 
pretty good. All right, so from this location, from the 404 old bridge, we're gonna go ahead and move on. We got this here, this post, and uh, this flat plate. Stuff that's in here now is from the last time we were out here. But so far, this is what we've gotten. So we're gonna leave that, and because I'm sure we're, uh, my mama wouldn't want that in her car. So we're gonna go ahead and move on and figure out where we're gonna go to next. All right, so this is the Timber Creek Bridge. And I mean, there is plenty of spots to go off of, but this is right out of the base of a hill. And I'm not very comfortable with that. And it's pretty well dried up. We gotta uh, take it down there and I'll show you the side of it. So, here it is. There's not a whole lot down here anyhow. So, it's just, like I said, with it being at the base of this hill, I'm not feeling terribly safe with it. Because that's a blind hill up there. So, I guess we're gonna move on to the next one, maybe? Yep. All right. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. So we finally got success on another bridge here. This is the near bridge. It's a two arch one. I don't remember the year, but it's a lot longer bridge. And it's a really neat one. So let's get you over here. Here's this side. So we're going to go ahead and grab the magnets on this one and see what we'll be able to pull out on here. And we're going to try to hit one more. It's the Fromm Bridge, F-R-O-M-M. -M. Try to hit it because it's only about a mile or two miles down the road here. So hopefully we'll be able to hit it this evening as well. So let's go ahead and jump to it. All right. Let's see what we can get here. me whoa Whew, that was a little close thought threw myself over the bridge stop here as well I'm not anyways so we're gonna go ahead and try that from bridge and check it out and see how see if we might have any luck there so see you in a bit all right so we are going to be able to hit this last one and it'll be the last one for the day this is the from or from bridge you know what it might be able to see it better from over here this one actually is i think one of the newest ones as you can see here uh, this definitely looks like a newer one for sure single arch bridge and man <laughs> it's awfully thin up there so i'll go ahead and run up there and start throwing I might come down here instead i don't know because this it's awfully narrow and we actually came across a vehicle coming through here so may have to be watchful of that so let's go ahead and jump up there and get to it so uh that last bridge uh 
Yeah, I never uh, didn't get it on video. So we had we had several hiccups throughout the day. So several of them of those locations we just couldn't get to because it be on private property and on top of it being dried up and didn't want to damage the magnets by tossing them out. So we're back out here at the house. If you guys want to go check out the Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, they'll all be linked in the description below. And and also YouTube Shorts, you can check those out as well. It'll, it'll be in the channel itself. So it's not its own channel, it's just part of this one. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump onto the video verse, and we're doing Hebrews chapter 11, verses 11 through 19. It says, By faith, even Sarah herself, when she was unable to have children, received power to receive offspring, even though she was past the age. Since she considered that the one who had promised was faithful, therefore from one man, in fact, from one as good as dead, came offspring as numerous as the stars of the sky and as innumerable as the grains of the sand along the seashore. These all died in faith, although they had not received the things that were promised, but they saw them from a distance, distance greeted them, and confessed that they were foreigners and temporary residents on the earth. Now those who say such things make it clear that they are seeking a homeland. If they were thinking about where they came from, they would have had an opportunity to return. But they now desire a better place, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. By faith, Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac. He received the promises, and yet he was offering his one and only son, the one to whom it had been said, Your offspring will be traced through Isaac. He considered God to be able to even to raise someone from the dead. Therefore, he received him back, figuratively speaking. And that is Hebrews chapter 11, verses 11 through 19. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Nails, nails, nails. Nail. Nails. Oh, more blasted nails. More nails. Oh, freaking nails. A bunch of nails. Plenty of nails. Freaking nails. I hate nails.